Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at a very different type of light. It's what's lighting me now, and you can also see it here. This is the Genere Spectro LED Batten Light. These come in 20 inch, 34 inch, and 53 inch uh, measurements, and they're very different than a typical um, tube light. So here's the Genere. This is the Baton or Baton 53. Um, as you see on the back, it has its own little um, battery that extends the body of the light and serves as both a handle, a mount, um, and to power the light. On the back, we have a whole bunch of options. We have power, um, different modes, almost like shortcuts for 20 different levels of brightness, 25, 50, 75, and 100, and then shortcuts for the color temperature. So you're able to click through really quickly. Um, and this, of course, is a bicolor light. It goes from 2800 to 6500. To compare this to the Quasar lights, which is what people are pretty familiar with, that is the Quasar T8. And then probably a fairer comparison in terms of size is the Quasar Crossfade. They're about the same um, width, but then as you see at the back, uh, the Genere is a lot larger, a lot more substantial. I think this is because this has more electronics built into it. Um, this has uh, its own controls um, on the mount itself. It also is dimmable in the light rather than um, the quasar, which you actually need to add a dimmer to. They are still um, the right size to put into any of the typical quasar tube light grids. Here's one from Canvas Grip, uh, which is a 40 degree grid. It just fits really easily right on the front of the um, Genere and lets you focus the light more specifically where you wanna go. A big advantage of these lights is you can see it has almost like a NATO rail on the back of the light fixture with quarter 20 mounts all the way down the sort of spine of it. It comes with a couple of different accessories. Uh, so that's the attachment almost like a tripod head, and it comes with uh, this sort of guy that lets you put it on a C-stand or a lighting stand and attach the um, light to get it anywhere you might want to. That was the 53, I have the 36 here. It's just magnetized to a C-stand arm. Whoops. As you can see, it has these little um, little feet on the, uh, on the bottom of it here, and they just literally stick in place. I haven't opened these up um, to see what's inside, but I suspect there's two strips of LEDs inside because they are significantly brighter um, than either the Crossfade or the T8 from Quasar. They really do put out a hell of a lot of light, um, which is not always something you need with a baton tube style light, but it's super helpful to have um, when you need it. We used it on a short film previously where I had it connected to the battery and I just turned it on full blast on tungsten and slid it below a car. And it just gave off this awesome um, light that we didn't plan on doing, it just looked great. One of the main ways that I use this light, uh, I have the 53 inch with the connected battery pack and I put it on a tabletop tripod inside the 40 degree grid. This means that it's freestanding. So you don't actually need to put it on a stand or rig it anywhere. You can just move it around on its, its own little tripod and it will give a great um, three quarter backlight or even act as a key for a um, nice long standing portrait. The 36 inch is $260. Um, the 53 inch is 499. So they are a price point above um, your quasars, but like I said, the advantage of this light is it comes with everything you need to use it. You don't need to buy an extra dimmer or anything else. It basically has most of the stuff built into the body of the light. The bags that they come with are really impressive. They're um, like a soft neoprene, but then the bag itself has like a hard PVC tube inside so that you slide the light fixture into that um, and it's protected from getting cracked or dropped. You could put these into checked baggage and no matter what the airline does to them, uh, you're pretty certain that by the time they arrive to your shoot location, they'll still work. Another thing built into these lights is the DMX controller. Um, both ha uh, the bodies of the lights have both an in and out mini DMX port. So you're, if you're building some kind of rig, you're able to link them all together and use them as one big light from a um, like a DMX controller board. I've had these lights for a couple of weeks and actually have got a lot of use out of them. Um, they're 
They're a really great way to get a lot of light into a small space and run from batteries. You also um, connect, can connect the 4-pin XLR um, to a V-mount battery and use them like that if you don't want to buy the um, optional um, Batten battery. That's the official accessory of the light. That's my look at the Genere Spectro LED Batten Stick Light. Check out the links for the description. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.